Come on in the room. Got a lot to talk about today. Let us know what part of the country you're checking in. And hashtag your city in this. Hashtag your city. Where you repping? Hashtag Cleveland. Hashtag Cincy. Hashtag Detroit. Hashtag Houston. Hashtag Chicago. What's up? Welcome, fam. How y'all doing today? Uh, as you know, uh, Saturday is the R&B Ball at the Mediterranean Party Center. There are only a few tickets left. Get them at Silk Chicken and Fish locations. You can also go online at samsilkwithaway.com. It's an R&B only event, suited and booted, not a gown or a tux, unless you want to. Eight thirty. Um, this is when the buffet kicks off too. So we will be doing that. All right. What's up to Instagram? How y'all doing today? Everybody on Instagram? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Lady Q, how are you? I am doing fine. So uh, I learned how to do a dance today. Uh, the Tamiya line dance, the, the easy way, I call it. For me, how did I do? You did well. That's the male version. She said I did well, the male version. Um, doom, doom. Dun, dun, dun. You nailed it. I told I, you I, that. I you nailed it. Okay. Yes, you did. All right. You'll be able to watch it on my Instagram TV in just a bit. <laughs> so what's up, fam? Uh, 888-409-0931. That is the number to touch down with us. Remember, hashtag your city. Hashtag where you're uh, watching. And share this video with your friends and family. And uh, get their take on what we're talking about today. And uh, producer here, Kenya Brown, has learned to do the uh, Tamiya line dance as well, but she she got the uh, the sophisticated uh, version. I think so until I get to the party on Saturday. You'll be fine. I'll be right with you. We'll see. Okay. You'll be fine. All right. I got confidence in you. You, you just got to keep going, right? You gotta keep going. Even if you <laughs> mess up, just keep going. Keep on going. <laughs> I apologize if I step on any of y'all feet on Saturday. Uh. My bad. All right. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all in love. Right. All right. Uh, as you know, we in Saturday Reality Hour, real people, real life situation. Um, and uh, we want to send our love out to uh, Nipsey Hussle's uh, family as they lay him to rest today. And, uh, yeah, all our prayers are going that in that direction. At least some of our prayers are going in the direction. We got prayers going everywhere, but prayers are definitely going out to California, L.A., for sure. Uh, keep them in your prayers. Uh, the, the hard time is, is is after the service and the burial. Correct. Those are two hardest times and anniversaries of, of deaths. Uh, mm -hmm. So keep them in, in your prayers and that justice is served with this clown. Uh, but what I, a legacy, though, for yes. Nipsey Hussle to have a funeral service at the Staples Center. I mean, that just shows, and some people still couldn't get in that were from LA, you know. Unless you bought the ticket off of uh, off of eBay for $500. That's so sad. That's so sad. But they were limiting four tickets per household. And, um, you know, just that just is a testament to his life that yeah. they would need such a big venue. Yeah, such so many lives. Yeah. All right, let's read this letter and you guys give your thoughts and help us out. Tell this person, keep it all the way 1,000, 1 million. <laughs> <laughs> oh Real. boy. Yeah, yeah, this is a doozy. Okay. Dear Sam, I know this may sound silly, but I met this guy while out with some friends. As a matter of fact, one of my BFFs introduced us. We had a great time out. We slept together. Since then, he calls me. We meet up at his house and we have sex. We talk on the phone too. This has been going on for a couple of weeks, but he's never taken mm. or asked me to go out for a movie, a restaurant, or anything. Mm. He always is calling me his girl, but I guess my question is, am I really his girlfriend? Uh, what does you are my girl mean? Do people even say, do you want to be my girlfriend or boyfriend anymore? Mm. I'm trying not to assume. And yeah, move over that way, can you? Okay. So they can see you. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right. So, um, what you are, hey, girl. I'm going to try to say it the nice way. 
right now, um, the way you met is how he, he seems to want to keep it. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, guys, you know, when we, you know, it was it was good. It was, and we just want to keep it right here, right now. We ain't really ready to show you all, but that freak stuff that you did was like, damn. Wow. And then that lust get to kicking up in us, and we were like, you know what? Let me just tell her to come on over, especially if you did it two or three times. And we like, what the hell are we going out for? We can watch Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that all relationships turn up like that. And sometimes people, I know a lot of times people say you, you, you don't need to ask what we are, but you do need to ask who you are, what you are. But if you begin to do things that boyfriend and girlfriends do, um, you still cannot assume unless you have a conversation. You cannot assume that you're exclusive. But didn't you say that it's difficult once you start out a certain yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. To move to girlfriend yeah, material? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's smashing you every Thursday, Friday. You bringing the booty over there. He's hitting it. No requirements. Yeah, it's All like, right. man, what am I going to do this for? You know what I'm saying? You know? And, and, and you know, I'm just being real. This is your brother talking. So don't, don't get mad at how I'm going to say it. But, you know, you, you, you convenient booty right now. Dang. You're convenient. You're convenient right now. You, you, it is what it is. So how do you get out of that space? Like, you, st you stop screwing, and oh. you say, you know what? I'm better than this. If he wants to do anything else, he's gonna offer. He's gonna take me out. I'm not gonna come over and just give up some ass. Mm. And so we get into this thing that we think that's all you want to do. Sometimes you do. You have people that y'all just have a great vibe of a great sex life and that's that that's all he or she sees you as it's not just don't get it twisted it's not just some men i mean men like that there's some women like that too a lot of women like that i know them. they go over there and get their back blown out and they go about their business they don't want to be seen with you like that they just they like how you that's what that's one of their fantasies or you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so you hashtag your city too guys yeah you're like what did what Chris says? No, you're not in a relationship. You're a booty buddy is what we used to call them back in the nineties. But do people even say boy like I haven't dated in forever. But I haven't actually I never dated. But anyways, yeah, um, so do people say will you like go with will me? you be my girlfriend or will you be my boyfriend? Do people even do that anymore? Not that I don't I'm know. aware of. I don't yeah. know. I just oh. introduce people as my male friend. <laughs> my friend, my friend. Eight 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 four zero nine zero nine three one triple eight four zero nine zero nine three one. What's up, Talisha? What's up, Henry? What's up, Chris? What's up, Julie? What's up, Wanda? North Carolina, Goes Barrow, in the house. Um, Kiera, how you doing? Well, not everybody says that's my boo. My boo. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. They get this. Yeah, I mean, boo. but people be booze one My day friend. and then they be, right. they have a different bestie all the time. Uh, right. Uncle such and such. No. Yeah. No. So again, so let's let me let me break it down. So read read the letter and I'm gonna try to break it down for you real good. Okay. How it all started. I'm just gonna go by your letter. Let's go by the letter. All right. Dear Sam, I know this may sound silly, but I met a guy while out with some friends. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, one of my BFFs introduced us. Mm -hmm. We had a great time out and slept together. Stop right there! I already know. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you met him that day, that night. Mm -hmm. Smash! One night stand. Right. And it was good. Mm-hmm. You thought because he is a friend of your BFF that he will look at you probably in a bigger light. You just assume. Mm. But you gave up the booty because you wanted the booty too. Read. <laughs> Since then, he calls me. We meet up at his house and we have sex. Stop we right there. Oh. <laughs> Since then, he calls you yes. only for ass because ass is good. He only calls you for ass, and then you go over to give him ass. Mm -hmm. Read. She said we talk on the phone, too. Stop right there. Okay. What did you talk on the phone about? Mm -hmm. Coming to get the ass. Coming to get time? the booty. That's right. right. <laughs> When's the next time? How you been? How was your day? How was sex last time? Was it good? All right, come on over. I'm bored. <laughs> All right. Read. This has been going on for a couple of weeks, but he has never taken or... Stop right there, going back to the phone call. Did he ever 
ought for you to eat. Did you ever hint that you was hungry? You never hinted that you was even hungry. You just said, oh, sure, I'll come on over and give you some ass. Right. Free. Uh, he's never asked her out to the movies, restaurant, or anything. Stop right there. Yeah. Did you say, you know, you know Little was out this week? Mm. Did you say, you know, Taraj is in this new movie? Did you hint? Did you at least say that? No, read. He always is calling me his girl, but I guess my question is, am I really his girlfriend? Stop right there. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. From what you said yourself. You don't feel like a girl. The fact that you had to question, are you his woman, proves that you're not his girl. Dang. You are his booty, buddy. Until he gets tired, because everybody gets tired of the same, the uh, S-O-C. Same old crackers. C-O-A. <laughs> same old ass. Oh. If you're not committed Possibly. in a relationship. If you're not committed. Possibly. So he's just having fun with you while he can have fun with you. But it's up to you to say no more. No more. Well, you get this. You got to know who you are, mm -mm. okay, and know, which, know, know your worth. And then, my friend, you won't have to go for this. I remember watching Biggie, Notorious B.I.G. Okay. What happened then? Little Kim, after him and Biggie got the rocket and, and he tore it up, she said, oh, what are we? In the middle of sex. Wrong time to ask somebody that because in the middle. It seems like that's a good time. No, 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 no. Of the booty. No, because you, because it feels <laughs> good, you would what say something. We? Right. That's not true. So do you want to ask the question while you're getting ready to have an orgasm, what are we? Yeah. Right there? My bill need to be paid. <laughs> <laughs> Booty buddies is what you are. <laughs> Booty call. That's right. Well, um, she wants to know, what does you are my girl mean? Then? It's just game. It's just game. Dang. It's just game. If he hasn't crazy. taken you out to dinner, mm -hmm. did he at least even cook at the house for you? And If you all you did was came over, sat on the couch, and within 20 to 30 minutes y'all was at it, you not his girl. What's wrong? Just one. laughing. You're not his girl. 20 to 30 it's minutes. 20 to 30 if minutes. That's all you get. If, if he has not at least put on, you, let me tell you, you at least act like you don't want to hit it. You at least put on a movie, not to rush it, talk some bull crap conversation, then you go ahead and try to get it. He knows he doesn't have to. Right. Right. It's, that's my point. You don't have to. If he has not. Offered you a meal, has not did a door dash. Did he and even I, and offer I'm being, a drink? And I'm being, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are not his girl. If y'all have never been nowhere before or after mm -hmm. the house, you are not his girl. Dang, he could have at least took her to breakfast or something. He no romance, no, no intimacy. You just hit it and quit it and have a good day. Did See you next her, time. Did he give her some henny? Something. Courtney, yeah, at she, least could have found they out. both got the same thing they wanted out of it. Yeah, and I just put that, it. She caught feelings. Yeah, she caught. That's it. She caught feelings you like caught she caught feelings. a cold. Dang. <laughs> All right. Comments coming in. <laughs> well, Julie said he likes the sex, which is obvious. Therefore, you have the bargaining tool. Uh oh, bargaining uh, tool. To Look use, at y'all. To use at your advantage, shut it down immediately when he asked, "What's up with you?" And he will let him know, "I'm more than just sex." Wait for his next move. If it's not in the direction you want to go, <laughs> shut it down completely and take this experience and learn from it before you give your body to a male. We're going to read this in, in 60 mm -hmm. seconds for those of you just tuning in uh, live on the radio. We're live here on uh, Facebook and our podcast and Instagram. Welcome, everybody, checking in. More mm -hmm. comments. Davina said, he's just using you for sex, so guess what? Put him in a category put him in the category as well. Tell him you got a gas bill due and you need ninety five dollars and see where that goes. So look at y'all selling ass. Well, right. I mean, you know. Selling that where's me too at? Me too, y'all need to interrupt this mess. <laughs> them too. <laughs> selling ass. What's wrong with you? You might turn around and say, I need a bill paid too. That's right. what you over here for. Did you did you did you did you have orgasm? Right. 
All right, if you they had an seem orgasm, like they both got something out of it. And men, y'all need to y'all need to get y'all game up. If if a woman has an orgasm, okay, if they can pull the phone bill, so can you. I know that's right. This is equal now. It's an equal world. No, <laughs> I don't know about how equal it is, but uh, they seem like they're... four seconds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, I need my phone bill, baby. <laughs> Oh boy, nine three one z eight k. We welcome everybody uh, who's listening across the uh, country. Uh, if you don't have our app, download it and take it with you uh, at WZAK on uh, Facebook. I mean, on the App Store. But we welcome everybody on Facebook and Instagram right now. How you doing today? Wow, Daniel Caesar, her. I love that song. Best part. Listen to this uh, conversation. I need y'all to flood the lines on this and tell the truth. Now, you would think that some people would know. Some people, y'all, some people just don't know. They don't. They don't. They don't know. That's but I'm gonna try to. Say. I'm gonna try to say this the nicest way possible. All right. But I want y'all to jump in here. All right. Read that letter, Kenya. Reality out. Okay. Dear Sam, I know this may sound silly, but I met a guy while out with some friends. As a matter of fact, one of my BFFs introduced us. We had a great time out and slept together. Stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> you had a great time. You met this guy. You thought he was cool because your friend introduced you to him. So therefore, you were attracted to him. He was attracted to you. Y'all had sex. Read. Blame it on alcohol. Uh, since then, he calls me. We meet up at his house and we have sex. We talk on the phone too. This has been going on for a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. but he has never taken nor asked me out to a movie, restaurant, or anything. Your fault. <laughs> he always is calling me his girl, but I guess my question is, am I really his girlfriend? What do you mean you are my, what does you are my girl mean? Do people even say, do you want to be my boyfriend or girlfriend anymore? I'm trying not to assume. Well, I'm going to tell you, you don't need to assume that. You got, you, you know, you, you got you got some magic going on. You got some good stuff. And he likes it, and you like his. That's what's going on. All right? You say y'all talk on the phone, but he never said, hey, the new movie Little was out. Did you know that Taraji uh, P. Henson starred in the movie? You didn't say it, and he didn't say it. So y'all had a conversation. I'm pretty sure that the sex that y'all had came up. He says, come over. If you're going to come over and come over and come over, I don't have to ask you out. Right. I don't have to do that. Mm. You my girl means we cool. That don't mean you my woman. You cannot assume that you are, yeah, well, we doing it. People don't have to say that no more. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You better get an understanding some type of way. You don't have to do the, do you go with me or do yes or no. But you better get an understanding. Now, if you're sitting up over his house between 20 and 30 minutes, and he hasn't offered you any water. <laughs> if he hasn't even put on a Netflix. Damn. See, at least when you, at least, I'm going to give you a little game. Sometimes men will play like we really into you, have a great conversation. We'll put on a movie just to relax you so we're not rushing into anything. Well, dang. That's just real. So you need to back this thing back up. All the way to the phone Back call. this thing back up. Right. Stop giving yourself like that. It, 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 unless that's what you want to do. She been backing it up. Yeah, she has been backing it up. Yeah. This man has not even offered you a DoorDash meal. Dang. He even said, hey, look in the app. See, are you hungry? Yeah, he should. Every time y'all coming over. What about Uber Eats? Yeah, or that. <laughs> or somebody. Somebody. If you, he can't cook. No, I mean, I'm just saying. He has, has he cooked you a meal? No. No. But you keep taking the booty over there, and then you expect that we are together. No, you cannot assume because you're sleeping with somebody, and that's all y'all doing with y'all together. No, he eventually is going to get tired. Your feelings are going to get caught up, but it's going to be your fault. Know how much you work. But that might be what you want to do. If that's what you want to do, then you, you're an adult. You do what you want to do. That's right. that's her Women work. do the same thing, too, yeah. that men do. That's right. Nowadays. So holla at your boy. Help this woman out right now. 5780931. He ain't even offer her nothing. You know, McDonald's got the $2 meal, too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, to <laughs> yeah. All right, more comments coming in here. Sam, I think you could at least tell them what, what days your specials are so he could offer her some, yeah, some yeah, food or yeah, something. Yeah, Dang. Yeah.
Hey, man, this is crazy. I, I don't understand. <clears throat> Glenda said she's just a smash buddy because she never demanded more. Yeah. That's it. And Michelle said, sorry, I hope I'm not being rude, but it was good to him, and he has no commitment. You, my friend, should should have stopped it in the beginning. You are yeah. a booty call yeah. and a good one because he keeps coming back. Yeah, it was good. It's you, good you, for got, her too. you got some good coochie, she, baby. You, you, that is you that do what got. that means? Yeah. yeah. But that goes both ways. He, oh, yeah. she, she, put, she putting it out, so. Yeah. Let me tell you. You, gotta, please you, too. you gotta be careful about that, though. You gotta be careful. And see, you know, you know I always gotta, gotta throw this other party in. You, you gotta be careful because you're sleeping with these spirits. Mm-hmm. And then this is why you be so messed up when you finally find the right guy or he finds you. You, you so screwed up or vice versa. Y'all so screwed up because you're just screwing every damn body. Too much going on. And then you opened up to this. You open up to that. You don't give yourself time to get to know nobody. You get yourself time to purge from all that stuff. And that's why you be jacked up. Sam Silk Show. Hey, Sam. Yo. Hey, man, thank you for pulling that out the fire, man, because you're right. You evened it out. But the other side of it is, in reference to the lady who called t- t- trying to figure out they're an item, if he is good as it appears, she's lucky that he ain't charging her. They want to be equal, let's be equal. They charge us, <laughs> let's you. charge her. She, she <laughs> needs to check her mail and see if there's a bill in there for services rendered. Yeah. That's you know right. what I'm saying? If she, if it's she, fair, it's a two-way thing. Mm-hmm. You should not Absolutely, be one. sir. When, when two people get together, it should not be about one. It should be about the both. Hey, that's why 69 is more than just a number. That's <laughs> all that said. All right. Hey, Todd, what's up? Sam, can you? <laughs> Todd. Could you two monogamy committed Negroes stop making trouble? Tell that freak to carry on. No further comments. <laughs> Goodbye, Todd. <laughs> All right, oh, all right. Boy. Last comments before we go. Uh, Michelle said, be clear what you want. I assume both parties like what's going on, and if she wants more, ask. But maybe too late because she has established sex without anything in return. Yeah. Sorry, boo, move on. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sometimes once you do that, it's like... It, it's over. Yeah. That's all I want, bro. Yeah. Mm, that's unfortunate. Yeah. It, they why, put themselves. Why spoil the fun? It's good for you, baby. Yeah. It's good for me. Come on, come on, now. Come come on. now. There you go, trying to do all this extra stuff. Right. Well, you know, it's different for women and men. Men want the booty. Women want security. We and want penis. a man. They want no, not all of them. Mm-hmm. Not all of them. Some of um, them. Well, some people. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, a benefit. Yeah. A fringe benefit. All right, y'all. Share this video with your friends and family. Yeah, we yeah, holler at yeah. y'all. Have a wonderful day, man. Yeah, she a friend with benefits. Right. Sam Silk.